You know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time for... What's good, YouTube? Welcome to episode three of Spice World. Yeah, episode three. That sounds right. Episode three? Yeah. I just watched Spider-Man No Way Home last week. Probably the best movie I've ever seen in my life. I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm actually I'm not gonna talk about it. That's not what we're talking about today. Just had to give you a little bit of insight. If you haven't watched the movie already, go watch it. Best movie of the year, hands down. Today, I'm going to be reacting to my weird addictions. Let's, let's get started into the video, I guess. I'm gonna try not to eat these while I'm reacting to it, but it's kind of hard. Cause once I open a bag of hot fries, I can't stop until I finish it. It's a bad, it's a bad habit. But I, I will, I will try. My name is Bria. I'm 19 years old. And I'm addicted to eating sand. <coughs> I just love the crunch. <coughs> it's always good on top of food, like a season. That, that that took me by surprise. I, I clicked on the wrong one. I thought I was watching something else. That surprised me. Uh, okay, let's let's see where this goes for now. Let's, let's see. What I'm saying is when I mix it with gum, it's just like mouth watering. Bria's addiction first developed five years ago when she accidentally got a mouthful of sand at the beach. <laughs> she was instantly hooked on the crunchy texture. I eat it when I go to my room, when I'm walking to class. How do you accidentally get a mouthful of sand in your mouth? That, that's like saying, oh, oh, sorry, uh, sorry, husband. I accidentally uh, went over to the, the mailman and, you know, slipped over it and accidentally, oh, let me stop. Uh, let me keep it PG. I'm sorry. When I'm reading a book, before I go to bed, I put like a pinch in my mouth. When I wake up in the morning, there's still pieces like in my teeth. It's like leftovers. When I first found out that Bria was eating sand, I was like, oh my gosh, that is crazy. That's nasty. Bria eats sand up to six times per day. Nearly 11, whoa. 11,000, I said. That's a lot of sand. If she was on a beach, a desert island, and she was by herself, she could survive. All she gotta do is just eat the ground. Like, that's that's a that's an infinite glitch. That's actually not a bad idea. Actually, no. Sand has absolutely zero nutrients. Actually, me? No, it doesn't. It has no nutrients. What do you get out of eating? Craving sand. I lick my finger and then dip it inside of the sand and put it on the back of my teeth and just chew it. I like the fact that it grits on my teeth, it gives it that crunch that you don't get from food. You could get crunch from any any food. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, let me stop. This is not an ASMR. Oh, oh that's good. That's good stuff. Let's resume. Maria is so dependent on that satisfying crunch, she turns to nail files when her sand supply runs low. It has like sandpaper on it that gives me the same crunch. So I put it like in the back of my teeth. That's disgusting. But Bria's cravings can't be satisfied with just any sand. My favorite sand is actually the sand from the playground or... That's nasty. You know how I many dogs and cats poop at the playground? And you just putting that in your mouth? No, on top of that, you got kids walking around everywhere. As a matter of fact, any sand is dirty. That's disgusting. That is nasty. A park. I start by taking a handful. Then I take like the big rocks out. It's natural. It's straight from the earth. It's really good and it's really crunchy. No. Sit my underwear. Did I not just say that? 
Sand found outdoors is often contaminated with rubbish, chemicals, and animal feces. You know what feces is? That's caca, poop, doo doo, poop, nasty. This contamination can spread lethal levels of bacteria along with parasites when eaten. I called it. I am worried about my sister's health. Knowing that she's eating sand off the ground, that's kind of scary. I don't know exactly what's in the sand that I eat, but I really don't care. I couldn't even imagine what I would do without sand. Today, she's decided she's ready to reveal her addiction to her best friend, Precious. How do you feel about secrets? Depends on what the secret is. Well, I have a secret. <laughs> I want to tell you that I like chewing on nail files. I'm glad <laughs> it's... How do you start a conversation like that? You want to know a secret? Sure. I chew on nail filers. OK. Uh, OK. This whole scenario is just, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's making me feel some certain type of way. You know? It's kind of kind of weird. Kind of strange. Doctor Strange. <laughs> Why you do that? They give me like this tingly feeling in my body. And I find them a little tasty. Like how you do it? You want me to show you? Yeah. Just like put it in my mouth like right here. And just grind it on teeth like that. Ugh. It's kind of making my teeth hurt a little bit. I ain't even on it. It's just not normal. So you call it strange. Yeah, you're strange. Of course you're strange. It's really weird that Bria likes nail filers. It made my teeth. Why did she act surprised? You're literally chewing on a nail filer. You use that for your, that's the, people are weird, bro. I can't, she, she does not belong in the black community. We do not claim her. We do not claim her. We have not claimed her and she will not be claimed in the future. She is, she's out. Cringe. All I could think was, Lord, for you. Another secret. Got another one? The reason I like nail files is because I also like to eat sand. I do it every single day. I can't imagine, like, eating sand could be healthy for you. What could it possibly do wrong to me? You never know. Everybody step in the sand and germs and stuff. Maybe you should find something else to chew on. I think she's a little bit of everything. Concerned, creeped out, disturbed, you know. I'm still gonna do it no matter what people say about it. Life without sand will be pretty close to incomplete. 19-year-old Bria has been addicted to eating sand for over five years, collecting her supply from parks, beaches, and playgrounds. But her sister, Salisha, is worried that sand could be harmful and wants to convince Bria to get help. Addictions are hard to break, but hopefully I could get through to her today. And she'll actually listen and know that it's really dangerous for her health. So Bria, I know that you're eating sand, but how much are you actually eating? Mm. I don't really know how much I consume a day, but it's more than before. Do you do it a lot? Just when I think about it, so if I'm eating something, I sprinkle it on it. If not, then I just eat it by So you sprinkle it on it like it's a seasoning. Do you eat like for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Yeah. Bria, I don't think that's good. The fact that it's getting worse, I'm kind of worried. I am worried about my sister's health. I feel like sand is very dangerous for the body, and it really scares me. Do you feel like it's harming your body? Sometimes my teeth hurt, and sometimes I have some aches. That's really scary. If you're already having pains now, then I'm worried about how worse it can get. Would you think about stopping it? I've never really thought about it that much, okay. <clears throat> as well, far as stopping. Well, it would mean a lot to me if you went to go see a doctor, because I love you. You're my only sister. I'm just concerned about you. Okay, well, I guess I'll go see a doctor for you. She lying. She not gonna see a doctor. She lying. Look, look, look what she did. Look right there. Hold on, hold on. Look, look, look. Hold on. Let me put it back. Right here. Look at her eyes. Right when she says, I'm gonna go see a doctor. She's lying. Look at it. 
Okay, well, I guess I'll go see a doctor for you. She not seeing no doctor. She want to keep eating sand. She wants me to stop eating sand. But I'd rather talk to a doctor first and before I can actually say I'm going to stop and figure out a little bit more than we know now. Later that week, Bria sees a physician to find out if her addiction to sand could be harmful. I've never told a doctor about eating sand. I feel really nervous, but I know. Guess she actually went to see the doctor. I bet she was forced. She, she didn't want to do that. No. I she didn't care. Come. Where do you get your sand? I usually find it at the beach. Sometimes I get it from a park. Do you understand any of the worries that may be associated with eating sand at all or dirt? No. If you're in areas where soil gets contaminated, that's a concern. Those problems are not insignificant with the risk of infection, theoretically, but also where you might get some issues with constipation or bowel obstruction. Bria needs to stop eating sand. The sands around her could be contaminated with bacterial parasitic and viral infections, some of which could be potentially life-threatening. So this is an x-ray of your belly. This is your colon, okay? And this is basically stool in your colon. What I don't see on this x-ray is any evidence of any uh, areas that are calcified or look like sand on the x-ray. However, it doesn't escape the problems we still have. Depending where your sand comes from, you could actually acquire certain infections from that. One that can be life-threatening is the acquisition of parasitic infections. You heard that, guys? Parasitic organisms. She might have venom inside of her, you know? Or carnage, or the anti-symbiote, or uh, what else are the symbiotes are there? I mean, it's a parasite. It's the same thing, parasite, symbiote. Same thing, same thing, same thing. But either way, Spider-Man, gonna defeat her, it's okay. I strongly recommend that you stop eating sand. Um, it does make me more concerned than I've ever been at all. I don't want to stop, but for my health and so that my family's not concerned, I do want to. Bree has not eaten sand since filming. She still snacks on a nail file every day. Yeah, cause cause that's better. Oh, uh, yeah, my addiction it's gotten better. I stopped eating sand, but uh, I I still still eat nail filers. So I think that's an improvement. No, no, what are you talking about? No, no way. People are so weird, bro. Like it's not even funny. Like you have to you have to try to be like this. How do you how do you how do you have kids after this watching these videos? That's just terrible. I may react to some more. Uh, probably not, because these are these are pretty weird. I may do like cheap skates, like people being extra cheap. Those those are some good videos. I might might uh, might react to those. I like those cheap people. That's my motto. If it's not cheap, then die. Well, that concludes episode three of Spice World. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs> no, I will not. <laughs> I need to be more consistent with these videos, bro. I post it like once every two months. It's because of time. I don't have time to do these. The only things I do is just post TikToks. I don't have the time to do these, but I'll make time. I will try to make time for you guys. I don't even know if you like these videos. I'm just getting started to the whole YouTube thing, so... Progress, progress. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Deuces. Thank you.